you guys, Lisa Fuller, Ambassador Diamond here, and today I want to talk to you guys about um, signing distributors, uh, telling the difference between a loyal customer and a distributor, and how to keep your distributors. Um, unfortunately, there is no secret or, or trick um, to knowing if somebody's going to work out, but what I have noticed um, over the past three years is that I'm doing things a little bit different now. Um, I highly recommend a book called Your First Year Network Marketing by Mark Yarnell. In fact, it's one of the first books that I tell my brand new distributors to get and read. Um, it's almost like a criteria for me because that book kind of prepares that brand new distributor for the pitfalls of the business. And I think that as a new distributor, um, I'm going to go back in time to those first few months in my business. I was so excited. Um, I saw the chart. I knew where I needed to go. And I thought, man, if I could just put names in all those boxes, all the prayers, um, all my debt, all of it would be answered. Um, but then I realized as I started filling up those boxes that um, the names that I was putting in there, if they didn't follow the three steps, nothing happened. Um, I was having to replace those people and start over. Um, I always joked around in the beginning of the business and said, you know, I used to put like a mirror in front of people's faces and if there was breath coming out, I was signing them. If they had a pulse, um, it was signed on the dotted line. Um, and I think that the, the growing and the learning I've done over the past three years is that it's not about quantity. It is about quality. Absolutely. Um, in fact, if I could go back with time, I think about um, how many distributors I signed that would have been amazing customers, and I probably ruined that. So I'm going to give you my best tips and tricks, and I will tell you that for the last year, I have only lost one distributor out of all the distributors I've signed. Um, so what I'm doing is working, and I want to share that with you. Um, when I started taking my business a little bit more seriously, um, I started figuring that Customers are just as good as distributors. I think sometimes that we are so focused on getting those 25 distributors to go diamond that we forget how important customers are in our business. And we sometimes talk people into becoming distributors that shouldn't be. Um, so one of my first rules of thumb for you is the second that you feel that you're talking someone into it, pushing in any way, trying to make things sound better than they are, um, stop. Because I can promise you that if you have to coerce and push someone into doing this business, they're not going to work. Um, I, I promise you they will not work. If they did, it would be a huge fluke um, because I've never had anybody work out that I had to coerce. Um, there had to be something in them that wanted to do this. So um, first of all, the second you feel that, pull out a customer form and talk to them about how these products can change their life. And you know what I have done um, over the past year and a half? Once I started doing that um, and, and really picking people out and saying, you know, let's figure out whether you should start as a customer. Um, maybe we need to get you behind the products first, using the purse, the, using them first, letting them change your life. Um, and once you can get behind them, then we can switch you over to a distributor at any time. So once I started doing that, not only did I see people actually becoming customers and switching to distributors and becoming great distributors, but I also was finding that I was keeping these customers. And I know that if I would have pushed them into distributorship that they were not right for, they would have been done um, and very quickly. And isn't the income and, and a happy client better than somebody mad that you pushed into a business that's completely turned off by the products So um, and the company um, and the way you went about it? So let me give you some things that I do a lot different now. Um, and I do accredit the, you know, your first year network marketing book to this. So if you kind of want to know what I'm doing, read that book. But in a nutshell, um, I interview now. I basically treat my business like a business. Um, they say if you want hobby money, then treat your business like a hobby. If you want um, business career money, then treat it like a career. Um, so that's what I suggest you do. I always tell my team, keep in the back of your head, what would Donald Trump do? Um, I know that's a silly saying, but seriously, what would somebody... Um, um, that is running a business and right now um, three years later we're running a business that's bringing in almost a million dollars a month that's a lot of people and that's a lot of money this isn't just some cracker jack box um, income this is something that is retiring people on our team every single month so you should take it really seriously and it, like I said it's not about quantity it's about the quality of people you're bringing in um, I would rather 
sit as a distributor for a year to find the right people than put 25 people in my business who don't want to be there and in the end start over. I think that's more discouraging for you and any of your new distributors um, than actually not signing someone because it's very frustrating and demoting when you are signing people that aren't doing anything. So. I interview now and um, I have a list of things that I want, um, a list of, not, I wouldn't say demands, but things that I require for you to be on my team and I tell people, I realize that you are fully aware to go to the website and sign under anyone you please if I decide that you're not right for um, my business, I get that, but if you're not willing to, to come to my terms that, that I want, pretty much you know, what I'm expecting for my business then you're not going to work anywhere because they're very simple terms. Um, and basically, I um, go through those terms with people. I say, you know, first of all, we have a system in our company. They're called our Steps to Success. And in a couple of minutes, I'm going to go through those with you. Um, but before I do that, I want to know that after I teach you these steps, that this is how you will teach the people you bring in. You won't add any steps. You won't take any away. And you will always stick to them. Um, because if you don't, it's going to take you longer and it's going to be harder for you to get to where you want to go. And if you're not teaching them correctly, then you're doing a disservice to the people you're bringing in. So I make them agree to that, and then I make them agree to hop on any conference calls they can, um, especially in the beginning of their business, because that's how they're going to gather their stories, um, learn tips and tricks, and, and start to become part of the It Works family. Um, and then I, I have them agree that they will watch um, two sets of videos, the videos that It Works puts out in our back office in the training academy, and then um, the 10 training videos that I have made, um, as well as if they want to do some extra that's great um, and then I make sure that I set a date that we are going to get together after they go through those um, I don't say well why don't you call me when you're done that doesn't work I say I want you to watch these videos and I want you to get with me um, we're gonna pick a date right now on the calendar Let's say it's Monday. Today's Monday. And Lauren Laumann, I'm going to give you complete credit for this because I just started doing this a couple weeks ago. I added this and it's been amazing. Um, but Lauren said she basically sets goals because when you just leave people out there in the open, um, they tend to not do them. And you have to remember, um, people have had bosses their entire life whether it was their parents telling them what to do from the day they were born to teachers to bosses to um, college whatever that was they've always had direction 95 percent of the people that you sign are not going to have ever run their own business before or been a part of their own business so they're still waiting for some direction and i think that most people need to be eased into um, the fact that they own their own business and that, that it's their choice whether they're working and, and moving forward and making decisions. Um, but at first, I still treat them like they're coming into my business and that I have certain things that have to be done. So I actually pull my calendar out now and I say, okay, today's Monday. I'm signing you. Let's give you two days. Let's meet on Wednesday. Um, and believe me, everything I'm talking about in this video can be done over the phone um, through Skype uh, the same exact way. So do not feel like you are... Um, held back or can't do as much because somebody is signing in a different country or state. Um, that's not true at all. In fact, 90% of the people I've signed lately do not live by me and I'm doing it just the same way so it can be done. And I'll say, you know, whether we have to get on the phone Wednesday, if they are local, I like to meet um, because I like to do a little blitzing that day also. Um, but either way, I'd like Skype if we can because I can do mock blitzing with them and things like that. So I'll say what we're going to do is we're going to schedule um, time, 6 o'clock Wednesday to talk again um, and we're going to go over your training academy notes and the notes from my videos and this is um this is going to do you a couple things first of all it's number one going to um tell you how serious the person is if they call you wednesday and say well i haven't been able to do it they're not serious i mean of course somebody died i get that things happen but 90 percent of the people aren't serious if they you do talk to them and they're like well i got to the training academy ones but i didn't really get to yours yet Eh, they're semi-serious. You know, you want those people that not only when I call them, they're like, I went through yours, then I found Cami Dempsey's, then I went here, and then I went there. I remember my first month in this business, and you're, you're watching this video, and you're serious about your It Works business. You probably did the same thing I did. I couldn't get my hands on enough stuff. I was serious. I wanted to change my life. I heard what people were doing with this business. I knew I had that opportunity. I knew this was my break. And I wanted to hear and figure every aspect out. Um, and so to me, 
I can tell a lot by what happens that two days later. If they've got a book full of notes and questions and want to know how things work, um, I know I've got my hands on somebody pretty good. And actually, um, now this isn't a must, not everybody has to do this, but I actually have people watch my videos, my 10 training videos before they even sign up. And here's why. If those 10 videos, those 10 videos have exactly the same thing as the Training Academy says. I go over steps of success, how to blitz, and what we need to do within your first 60 days to get the $500. I leave nothing out. If that scares them, if they feel that they cannot do those things, then if they don't call me back, they weren't meant to be in this business. It wasn't the right time, and I just saved myself a bunch of time. However, I do realize there's people that come into the business that just want to make some extra cash. I do leave a disclaimer. When I tell them to watch those videos, I say, look, I realize that you may not want the same things as I, that I do. Um, you may just want a little bit of part-time money um, to alleviate some pressure. So no watching those videos, that that's to get that $500 guarantee. But we can actually you know, make you money the first month, but we still need to follow steps one and two. So keep in mind when you're watching the videos that steps one and two have to be fulfilled. Doesn't matter who you sign, um, what direction they wanna go, how fast or how slow, they still have to do steps one and two um, within the first 30 days. So. I do that, you don't have to do that, but that's a good way for me to tell whether I'm messing around or not. Now, before I sign them, and this is the key, and this was what's really helped me, is when I got started, I was worried about me. I wanted to make money, I saw the chart, I knew where I wanted to go, I needed to fill in the boxes. It was all about me. So when I signed a distributor, I would say things, you're gonna make all this money, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't tell them, you know, you might get rejection, you might not have a warm market. I wouldn't say anything negative ever. And the first negative thing that happened, they would jump ship. So I'm realistic and I tell them, there's going to be hurdles, there's gonna be people that tell you no, there's gonna be people that could tell you you're crazy. But here's what I just did with this and here's what other people are doing with this. And sometimes you have to do things that others aren't to do what others don't, to get what others don't have. And I explain the pitfalls, um, a brief description of some pit pitfalls they may face um, before signing up. Why? Because I want to make sure that they know what they're getting into because if they leave me excited thinking I'm going to do this business and they get in the car and call their mom and their mom goes, are you crazy? Me? Crazy? That's a pyramid scheme. And then they call their best friend next and their best friend says, I tried that. That doesn't work. It's water. Guess what? They're not calling me back. And if they sign, they're just like, oh, well, out $99. Let's face it, guys. It's a $99 investment. It's not like most people have to sell a house to start their business. Um, so you have to come up with a list of things that, that is a requirement for you because when people sign up for $99, it's not that big of an investment to walk away from. So it's up to you to dig and figure out what that why is. What that why is, the reason why they wanna come into this company. Now this is something I do before I even sign them. So during our conversation, after I go through the list, now I ask them why do you want to do this? What's your reasoning? And 99% of the time it's money related and that's okay, it can be the start. But I try to dig a little bit and it's okay. They don't have to know their exact why, their why doesn't have to make them cry the second they sign, but you need, it's your job as that person's mentor to dig into that that first month and let's figure that out because just money, just a money motivated why is not gonna keep people going through the yeses or the noes and the bad times and the hilts and the slopes and the bumpy roads. So you wanna make sure that you are digging into that why the first month, but start with a why, figure out where they're going. Then also before they sign, I make them write down three goals. I make them write down a 60 day goal. I have them write down a six month goal and then a long-term goal, a year goal. Um, why do I wanna do this? Well, I wanna know what we're shooting for. I also wanna know some things they want so that when they call me with a bad day, I can say, look, we just gotta get out there, um, put our big boy girl panties back on, and we gotta hit the road running because we're not gonna get your car fixed this way. We're not gonna get you out of that job this way. So whatever that, you know, and make sure that they're getting realistic goals. Now remember, they don't know how amazing this business is yet. Um, they don't know what's happening and people are retiring and the millions of dollars that we're all gonna make. So to them, they're not aiming super high yet. Um, so get some realistic goals put in place so they know where you're going and you know where you're um, trying to take them. It's your job as their mentor um, and anybody that you sign, it is your job to give them the best 30 days they've ever seen. If you wanna keep that distributor 
I'm going to tell you how in video two um, by showing them the best 30 days and how you're going to do that.